Agency capture, remember, is this ability for special interests or agents to capture the central points of control within a system. There are two ways to deal with that. One is not to have special interests, very, very difficult. And the other is to remove the incentives or the abilities to capture central points of control or remove the points, the central points of control entirely. One of the broader problems with crypto and with DeFi is that outside of Bitcoin, very few people have thought about agency capture. For example, Ethereum is in the process of moving to proof of stake. Proof of stake is a system almost custom designed to create agency capture. And the way Ethereum operates where there's what's known as MEV or minor extractable value, where miners can can front run users to make a lot of money and can reorder blocks if they have enough validation power, only enhances the problem. Now. It just so happens that this week, not only did UST collapse, but also a project called Lido became a single entity controlling 30% of Ethereum stake. That means that Lido, once Ethereum moves to proof of stake, will be in a position to be able to participate in MEV, make or have a great deal of influence on the roadmap of Ethereum, make changes frequently, um, like EIP-1559, which changed the way Ethereum is minted. And when you have proof of stake system, which also relies on the issuance of new assets to the stakers, there's a high temptation to create various types of incentives more or less complicated in their structure to further reward the people who are uh, dominant stakers.